When you divide and pre-shape for baguette, it's important that you cut your dough into a nice square piece. So first I'll start out by cutting off a strip of dough that is about four inches wide and cut the dough into a square. As I'm shooting for about 350 grams. So at the end, I want to have about four by four square pieces. Okay, start with a square piece, gently pat it down, fold it once and twice. And when I fold, I have my fingers together so that we just create a straight line and then fold, press gently away to create a pressure. Tighten the skin. Okay, so make sure that your dough is not sticking to the table. Gently pat it down without using your fingertip. Fold. Now have your fingers lining up like this so that we create this straight line that you can fold and press gently down and away to create a little bit of tension here. Same way. Press gently away for the tightness of the skin. Now when you do this, you should have your elbows facing out so that you can line your fingers like this. If your elbows are closed, you'll end up poking with your fingertips, which will then break the skin. Okay, here's the final shaping for your baguettes. Okay, first take your pre-shape, seam side up, and gently flatten down with your hand. Create a flat surface. And first fold in about one third, so that way you're creating a seam in the middle. Okay, so it's the same motion as the pre-shape, fold it one third, turn it around and fold. My left hand is folding and sealing with the heel of my hand. Fold and seal, fold and seal. Just enough pressure so that way the dough adheres to each other. So you have a straight line down in the middle and we're going to fold this one more time from the seam. Fold in half and seal, seal. Okay, and when you seal, make sure that your heel of your hand is square to your baguette. If you chop it on the side of your hand, then it's going to make this dent on the surface. Roll from the center first, slide in one hand, and then slide in your next hand. Make a big movement zigzag. Okay, and find your seam. Place on the couche, seam side up. Okay, and make a fold on the couche. Okay, one more time, flatten down. Slide your hand underneath, just like the pre-shape. Fold about one third and seal. Gentle pressure downward to seal, create a seam in the middle. Rotate, fold with your left hand and seal, fold and seal. Okay, and fold in half. Okay, so the seam is formed right down here. Okay, and start with one hand. Now, if you start with two, then you may end up having this little bump in the center. I'll slide one hand, and then the next one. And make a big movement with your arm. Move from your shoulder, not just your wrist. Even pressure all the way to the end. Okay, and then seam facing up. Okay, and on the couche, you want to give a little bit of room around your baguette, so that way they can grow. But then the couche, and the, uh, by placing the baguette right next to each other, that will help sort of grow against each other and support the structure of the loaf. On the board, you can fit about six to seven baguettes at a time. 